My name is Alpesh Patel. I'm the head of orthopedic spine surgery at Northwestern. I'm fellowship trained in orthopedic spine surgery and neurosurgical spine surgery. I am a spine surgeon and my practice specializes in cervical spine surgery as well as minimally invasive spine surgery. So the most appealing part of Magnetos is that it's a product that started by trying to solve a fundamental problem that we see as spine surgeons, which is getting a reliable, predictable fusion. And it started with that problem, and it solved for that problem. As spine surgeons, we're familiar with the link between the immune system and bone healing or bone biology. That field is called osteoimmunology. Magnetos takes the immune system and harnesses the power of the immune system to promote bone healing. It does so through its unique submicron needle-like structure, and that surface topography polarizes macrophages away from M1 phenotype towards M2 phenotype. And it's those M2 macrophages that create an environment that promotes bone healing, prevents inflammation, and helps us achieve a more successful spinal fusion. So that unique aspect of Magnetos is what separates it from other bone graft products. The catalyst for me in my practice that led towards full adoption were the results that I saw in my patients. The great clinical outcomes, the successful fusions that I saw in those more complex, challenging fusion environments convinced me that Magnetos can deliver on its promise, that it can promote bone healing and enhance spinal fusion. This is a case I'm happy to share with you. This is a 60-year-old female that I had taken care of. She had presented to our hospital uh, after an injury. She was having quite severe neck pain, and she had an unstable C2 fracture uh, involving the lateral masses, the pedicles of C2, and also had a fracture at C4. On the pre-surgical imaging, we see what appears to be an odontoid fracture, but is actually a much more complex, unstable C2 fracture involving the pedicles of C2. And that is what I thought was driving and creating her severe neck pain symptoms. The surgical plan that I had for the patient was a posterior C1 to C4 instrumented fusion, a reduction of her fracture, and then a posterior lateral bone grafting consisting of local autograft bone, but then also magnetos as a bone graft extender. The post-surgical x-rays show me very good restoration of alignment, very pleased with the uh, implants in terms of how they're positioned. More impressively, as I look down the road as for this patient, she had a very good clinical outcome. At about eight months after surgery, she had a CT scan done of her cervical spine. And on the still images, I can see a really robust amount of fusion in that posterior lateral space from C1 all the way down to C4. So in a really relatively challenging fusion environment, we can see really good bone formation at the eight month mark. More impressively than the still images is as we rotate through and as we slide through all of the sagittal slices and then the axial slices, we can see that the fusion we're obtaining with Magnetos is not a spot fusion. It's not just occurring in a few spots here and there. It's a really robust amount of bone confluently forming along the entire posterior space from C1 all the way down to C4. Using science and evidence to drive decision-making on the choice of bone graft products is critically important. As we look outside of my practice, my institutional experience, we see the use of Magnetos growing and spreading. We see more and more surgeons adopting the science that Curo brings, the solution that Magnetos is, into their practice. And I'm convinced that we're going to see better results for patients, both in terms of clinical outcomes, but also more successful spinal fusions as a result of it. What I tell my fellow spine surgeons about Magnetos as a product is that it reflects that strong foundation in science and it accomplishes that goal of promoting bone healing and enhancing spinal fusion. Simply put, it works the way you want it to work. It works better than the other bone graft extenders that we've seen come to market, at least in the 15 years of my career. And I'm very, very pleased with the results.